workshop's a total mess. I haven't got to spend much time in here lately, so every time I do, the job gets left out and it kind of ends up looking like this. The beetle just went under a full front end rebuild. It had a dodgy tie rod in, so I figured while I was at it, I might as well kind of do everything that needed doing in there. Just about to rip the guards off because uh, they can't get the wheel alignment machine on the wheels because they're tuck, tuck too tight under the guards. So I've got to sort something out there. I think I'll pull the guards off and take it back. Just picked up <coughs> these. Back from getting the wheel alignment done on it. New front tyres. Pretty low profile. A bit, bit more than the back. Gives it a little bit more turning. Um, had to take the guards off it to get it uh, get a wheel alignment done on it. It's going in for a mod plate next week for the, the work done here. Getting there. A bit of a push on it. I just want to get it done. I'm just sick of it not being registered, not being able to drive it, not seeing if it will blow up. Installed some new lights in the shop tonight. Super bright LEDs, opposed to those old ones which I haven't disconnected yet. My ladder's not tall enough to get up there. Also uh, hooked up the lights in the spray booth, which is pretty bright. I might add a couple more just to really get that clarity. Sand it back all the guards. Blue guards off grey bug. Filled in the bumper bar slots, which used to be right here. Just to give it that clean look. I always wanted to do it, but I haven't done it. There's the new bumper. Uh, new bonnet. After crashing the old one. It's pretty good, it still needs a bit of work. I don't know if you know the things that you may have seen. There's the other one. I really did a job on it. So here we are in my little spray booth. Finally set it up over the weekend with the extractors. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let's see how she rolls. So the bonnet. New bonnet after I crashed it for grey bug. The rear balance, which I never painted. The guard, which I had painted, but there was some blistering issues. I think because I painted it outside of the sun. I'm not I'm sure. What I have done though is closed up in the rear where the bonnet Bumpers used to protrude. It's kind of like a cool look, the bump in the front as well. Just got rid of the, the holes where the bumpers normally poke through. Look, painting isn't my uh, strongest point, <laughs> but I'm not really sure what is these days. So. Let's see how she rolls. <laughs> When I did that to me bonnet, it was absolutely heartbreaking. But I was never actually happy with the paint on it. And this one here, like I'm, you know, honestly, there's a few specks in it, a bit of dust. I'm gonna have to try and control the environment a bit better. Yeah, all of these, if you 
you can see the little specks of the glisten, but hopefully they buff out. But this bonnet is actually like, this paint is probably the best paint I've ever put on a car. I'm pretty happy with it. I've got one little run right there, but that'll buff out pretty easy. Didn't get a lot done this weekend. I kind of worked yesterday and only spent a few hours in here today. I had to do some work on my mum's car. Anyway, headlights are in. Bonnet's back on. Just doing a bit of a colour sand on it. Tampere wheels are on. Not that I, I don't mind those wheels, they just look funny on a car with such wide guards. Rear valance, boots back on. All the lights are working. Done everything the engineer asked for, so hopefully this week it's all done and I can get it on the road.